So today in this video I'm going to show you how you can dual boot Windows 10 and Linux Mint. So let's get started. So first thing is that you will need two USB sticks at least like 8 gigabyte so that you can install or boot Windows 10 and uh, Linux Mint. All right, so one for Linux and one for Windows basically. And after that, you will need to have a laptop that can run Linux and Windows. So I'm just going to test on my old laptop. Uh, this is not the laptop I'm going to run Linux right now. I'm just going to place my old laptop when I'm going to set it up. So first, let me show you how you can download iOS files. All right, so let's go to um, Mint first. So let's go Mint Linux. Just Google that. I will link down on my description down below. So this is how it should look like uh, Linux Mint. So just go to this page and then simply hit on download and from here click on download all right you don't want to download xfc edition you just want to download cinnamon edition all right so just hit on this download button after that you will see size 3 gigabyte then just go down and you can choose this uh, mirror servers any server will be working fine so you can just go with like world server with linux mint for this example I'm just going to click on this one and you can see right now the download has started and it's gonna take me like five minutes all right so I have just downloaded this and this is it guys so this is where uh, my Linux Mint is downloaded and I already downloaded uh, Windows 10 so if you guys don't know how to download Windows 10 ISO I have this video I will link down on my description down below for you guys so just go ahead and check this out and you will get the same file all right then once you guys have downloaded the ISO files, you guys are good to go now. So just download Rufus. So just go to Google, type in Rufus and click on Rufus first link. Scroll down on download section. You just wanted to download standard version. Click on download and there we go. And simply open this application, click on yes. And this is how it should look like. So let me zoom this now you guys need to plug in your device so since i already flashed my uh, linux cinnamon i'm gonna show you uh, once again all right so i'm just going to show you like how you can do that so i have uh, linux installed in this usb so you just wanted to plug your uh, usb right now on your laptop and this laptop all right so just plug in the device you need to back up your pen drive if you have any data here because you are going to wipe out all the data from this pen drive. So now just select the file, the ISO file. For example, if you wanted to flash Linux Mint, then select Linux Mint. And then you should set this as a GPT instead of MBR. MBR is like Microsoft file. So this is the uh, guided partition table. So this is a Linux system, the GPT right there and rest everything you should leave this as default. All right. And make sure that you guys select a correct USB and then click on start. So since I have flashed my Linux Mint in this USB, I don't need to flash this on uh, this one because I'm just going to flash Windows 10 on this USB. So yeah, just select the Windows 10 here. So I have downloaded Windows 10 as you guys can see that. So I'm selecting Windows 10. You can use same GPT. So make sure to use the partition uh, scheme as GPT on both. And also make sure to select image option as standard Windows installation. And make sure to leave everything in default. Then hit start button. And you need to uh, put your name. And if you wanted to skip everything, you can just check those blocks and then press on OK. And press on OK once again. And this is going to destroy your pin drive. I mean, it will destroy your data. So I'm going to pause the video until the uh, bootable pin drive is going ready so you can see that i have flashed my windows 10 as well and um, you can see here as well this is the result now we are ready to boot uh, dual boot um, windows 10 and linux mint well now i'm going to put my old laptop here to show you how we can dual boot on that machine all right so let's get started so we have successfully installed linux and windows so this one have Linux and this one has Windows. Now I'm going to flash and dual boot this. So very first thing is that uh, this is my old laptop here that I'm going to uh, dual boot. First thing is that you wanted to boot up the Windows 10, all right? Or whatever Windows that you guys are going to install. So first boot the Windows 
and then you need to install Linux because if you do uh, install Linux and then you install Windows later, this will create issue on your Grub Boot loader, all right? And you don't want to do that because you can fix it manually as well, but this is the easiest way that you guys wanted to get rid of that. So first, install Windows, all right? So let's go. So I'm just going to plug in on my laptop right now. Now, you guys wanted to boot up the boot manager from your laptop. So in my case, this laptop have uh, F11 and F12 as a boot key. So as soon as you hit power button, press that button. So, all right, so power on. So powering on. And that's going to spam this F11 and F12 key. And there we go. We are now in boot manager. So you need to select the EFI device. So this is a USB device and just select that one. Now guys, this will launch Windows 10. And now this is going to show you Windows setup. So you need to set up this first. And you all guys know that how to set this up. So click on next and then go to install now. And I don't have a product key. If you have product key, you can input that. So I'm just going to go with Windows 10 Home. You can choose Pro or whatever you wanted to. So click on Next. And I accept the license and terms. Click on Next once again. So this is what you guys wanted to do. Custom install. And you wanted to delete all the partition that you have because uh, you need to convert this uh, drive to something else. All right. Um, Linux needs ext4 and Windows need NTFS. So what you guys want to do is you wanted to wipe up all the drive. All right. So make sure to back up first all the data you guys have on your laptop. After you guys have back up your data, then come back to this step. All right. So I'm just going to delete all the uh, stuff here like this one as well. So deleting this and it will go to your unlocated space. So delete this and delete this. And delete this one as well so you can see that all total i have like 238 gigabyte so for windows i just wanted to give like 70 gigabyte and for linux i will do the same thing maybe 50 or 60 gigabyte and in linux you also need to uh, create like a bootloader stuff so you need to keep storage for them as well uh which windows you don't need to do that because windows will automatically uh create the bootloader or efi stuff here so now you wanted to create here is new and you need to uh, divide this on and you need to set this on MB. So I'm just going to uh, give this like seven, seven thousand MB here and then this apply. And you can see that uh, Windows just created all the MSR reserve, system reserve, and its primary. And so now this is my 68 GB operating system. Windows can uh, run in this storage. And this one here is unallocated. And you don't want it to create new here because you just wanted to leave this for Linux. All right, just leave this for Linux. And you need to select this one here, which is saying primary. This one is 68 gigabyte for me. Now just set this up Windows in this drive. All right. So click on next once you guys are happy. So now wait for Windows to install. Also note guys, if you wanted to increase storage, you can increase storage as well. It's up to you. I am doing this like 70 gigabyte for this Windows 10 because I wanted to just use Windows as uh, for Microsoft Word and some software only. So if you want to uh, play some games and you want to extend some storage, it's all up to you, all right? So my basic purpose for this laptop is to run Linux and then run MS Words and Photoshop, which Linux is not able to do that. Yeah, it is able to do with some uh, wine, but it is not stable. So this is why I just wanted to natively run um, Windows application on Windows itself and Linux on Linux. And that's why my goal is to set up dual boot. So I don't know what's your goal and why are you dual booting. So let me know in comment. Now it's installing updates and finishing up and restarting. Let me restart this. So I just don't want it to update right now. So I just choose an I don't have internet. Just so you know, connecting to a network now. 
all right so continue with limited setup you can update this later as well and so i don't care so i'm just going to uh you know like launch windows as soon as possible because we have this baby to go in as well this is linux mint well there you go we have installed windows now you guys can install drivers of your laptop right here which i'm not going to do that well i will install driver later after installing linux mint so let's get started so i'm just going to shut down this pc right now shutting down and unplugging this usb now once you guys are ready hit on this boot key once again bring that boot key there you go we have access boot and this is how it looks like in my case um, you need to select efi device once again you might so different so make sure to choose flash disk all right so i'm just going to use efi usb device now this should boot linux mint and you can see that so just hit an enter start linux mint now this is going to launch live linux mint so as you guys can see that it's booting up from usb and there we go so this is how it should look like and you need to install from this uh, disk here so you need to double click or right click to open and it should show you the setting up menu now go ahead and click and continue by selecting your language click and continue choose your keyboard layout and click and continue so if you wanted to install media codec you can check this one so i'm just going to uh, continue because i haven't input my internet cable here so hitting on continue you can still do this all thing later right now this is showing you linux mint alongside windows boot manager and you don't want to do this because it might cause some performance lag and stuff like that so you want to go to something else and click and continue and you can see right here there is a windows boot manager and everything here and this is a free space that you have created so this one here 72 something this one is um, c drive of windows you can also see windows boot manager in eefi so you need to create same thing here for linux as well so right now you need to uh, click on this plus icon by selecting free space uh, click on plus icon and so how much storage that you guys wanted to give for linux so i'm just going to give like 70 gb so it will be like 70 so it will be this much and then and make sure to choose ext4 journal file system and you need to mount this as root all right so this is the um, operating system directory so you need to just put this last button and then press on ok so you can see that we have created uh, 6999 mb for uh, linux mint now you also wanted to give the uh, swap memory swap memory is basically like page file system for linux so if you have four gigabyte ram you need to keep like eight gigabyte of your um, ssd storage so now just go ahead and click on plus and give this like eight gigabyte it's like eight thousand mb and in here you need to choose swap area and you don't need to put anything on mount system so just press on ok this will create swap area for your linux mint well you still have uh, 100 gigabyte left now you can use this 100 gigabyte as um, home this will be like storing your documents or whatever well you can also use this as ntfs by going on to your windows 10 but on linux mint you cannot do that because this doesn't give you ntfs you need to uh, install something like gparty tool to get those ntfs so I am just going to set this off for Linux Mint storage. So I'm just going to give mount point as home and just giving this ext4 and just press an OK. Now this is your Linux drive or local Dix D for Linux drive. And there we go. Now you don't need to do anything. Now just hit on install and you can see that this part is going to be formatted. So just hit and continue. Now select the uh, region that you guys are in so i'm from Kathmandu, so i'm just going to click and continue so put your desired name and then input the password you can log in this automatically as well so just hit and continue once you guys are done now this will install linux mint now it is installing system so it's gonna take some time again now they're saying that you need to restart your computer now or you can still continue testing so just hit and restart 
and now it is saying please remove installation media and then hit an enter so there you go we have remove linux mint or usb hit an enter so you can see that in this crop boot you have windows and as well as linux both so now if i wanted to launch windows you can just select this one and your laptop will restart and it will boot up the windows so there you go you have now successfully dual boot your uh, linux mint and windows now restarting this so that i can show you linux mint as well so we're starting right now so this one here at the top this is linux mint well there we go so this is your linux mint so just go from the store here and you need to install the driver manager and all the codecs that you guys wanted to now this is looking for drivers so just go ahead and you know like uh, update all the drivers for windows and as well as linux mint so this is how we should dual boot um, linux mint and as well as windows 10 so if you have any problem let me know in comment and i will see you guys in the next video peace